So a good first project for everyone to make is a birdhouse. Um, another great t style of birdhouse to make is out of PVC pipe. And the great thing is it holds up to the weather. You don't have to worry about polyurethane or it uh, falling apart after a couple years with all the rain. Um, so you can use any size PVC pipe. This is a four inch. And um, there's two ways to make it, and I'll, I'll make both of them. One is a horizontal pipe where you just have a section and the birds can get in on this direction. The other is a vertical pipe where you drill the hole on this side and you have a top and a bottom. You're also going to need some scrap pieces of wood. Here's cedar, which is nice because it won't rot. Pine, plywood. Now here's a mark I made on this end, and a nice way to make it is use a string where you just wrap it around and that gives you a good mark. Are we on the line? Well, I've lost my assistant, but uh, here's our two pieces of PVC cut out. You can see they both have an angle on. So for one of the houses, it's going to have a roof, and the other board will fit inside. For the other house, both will be round holes that will fit on the inside here. So we have our three circular pieces cut out and sanded, and I also cut out a thinner, it's a hardboard with a kind of melamine surface, and this is actually going to be the, the roof. Okay, that's going to grab. Be careful with those larger bits, they can really grab that wood. I'm going to use these big uh, pliers to hold on to this wood so it doesn't spin on me. Like that. Well, it made a cool design at least. Let's try something else. Man. So it fits nicely in the end of that PVC there. Um, we have to worry about how we're going to attach everything. And I don't want to use just glue. I'm going to be drilling two holes on either side and putting screws. I'll be doing glue, like a liquid nails glue, and then I'll, but I'll also be putting screws on either side. For the roof, I'm going to use wire. So same thing, I'm going to drill a hole on the side here and on the top here, on both sides. And then I'm just going to take some of this thin uh, 20 18 gauge wire and I'm going to feed that through and tie it and twist it off on the end. Now for the bottoms I'm going to do, uh, for the cedar, I'm just going to put a clear polyurethane spray on here. I think that'll look really nice. And on the bottom of the uh, vertical one, I'm just going to paint it white with this white primer. So it is at this point that I realized I forgot two uh, major important things. Um, first is how I'm going to attach these to the tree. But I also like to drill uh, a hole in the back so I can put a screw and attach it to the tree. So it's attached to the tree and over a branch. The next thing is making a perch for the bird to land on. They can't just land right on the hole. So what I'm going to use is wire. Um, you could use just a little wooden dowel like every other birdhouse. You just drill a hole, put a little wooden dowel. But I have this um, aluminum wire, and I can just pull off a strand of this. And this is a nice thick gauge wire that I can bend, and it'll hold its shape, and it won't tarnish. And I'm just going to make a little curve. Uh, 
kind of shape to it, kind of a U, and I'll drill two little holes and attach it so it'll have like a little rounded perch for them to sit on. Now I'll bend that down. You can see I have it nice and tight on the inside there. Right in there, and I'll cinch it down even more, but that's how that's going to look. But I'll use liquid nails, and then I have these short one and quarter inch screws, and those will be held in on the side like that. So I have two. Also, one thing I forgot to mention on the back of this one, so this is the back of the horizontal one. I pre-drilled uh, and put in a screw there. So that's all ready to go. So when I go out in the yard and I put this in, the screw's already in the hole. Liquid nails all around the edge. Then we already have the two holes on either end drilled for where the screws are going to be. And I like to just do a little countersink so I don't split the wood. And now I can put the inch and a quarter screw into that. Now I'm getting ready to put that front piece on. And before I did that, I put the wire through uh, that's going to hold it from the top. I fed that, so that'll be the two ways to hold it to the tree. The screw that's going through the back and the wire on the top. So this is the final result, ready to be hung up and screwed into the tree. They take about an hour. If you're just going to make one, it's easy to make two because you're just cutting the same stuff out. But you're just cutting PVC cutting the wood to fit the openings, painting it, fitting the wires, screwing it together, um, and they're gonna last. Um, this one specifically, there's nothing really to rot. The, the waters can't really get to any of the wood. It's covered. This one does have a wood top, but it has that melamine on the top, which will protect it. Um, so I know I've had these already in the yard for a couple years now, and they just last and look great years later, whereas the wood, starts to show rot, you might have to take it down and re-screw it together, re-nail it together, put another coat of paint. But So you can see here's how I just uh, use the wire to attach it to a branch just for some support. And then on the inside I have the screw. And with that screw it's pretty tight in there, yeah. And here is the other one, attaching it to the branch. And it's on there, nice and tight. It's not going anywhere. Um, these really hold up well. So I hope you like the project. Let me know what you think. Thanks.